Hello, it's Pilar Aymara here, and I'm speaking to Laura Marshall, one of the workers of the 500 Miles event. Last time we talked, uh, you were in Banff. Uh, so where are you now? We are in Glen Eagles at the moment. Glen Eagles. So between, yes, between Perth and Stirling at the moment. So tomorrow... So the very famous home of golf. <laughs> so and tomorrow you will be in a Sterling but passing by Dumbling, isn't it? That's right. That is right. Very good people in Dumbling is my town, <laughs> you know. I know. You're, we are going into Dumbling for photographs and we will speak to the people of Dumbling. There is a miniature party there. And oh. then we will walk into Sterling. Okay, yeah. excellent. Um Tell me, where was the reception like in Aberdeen and in Dundee? Yes, Aberdeen, Aberdeen was fantastic. As we arrived over the, the two rivers, Aberdeen has two rivers, right. the Dee and the Don. As we came in over the, the Don, we were piped by a bagpiper all the way to the city centre. And then as we walked out of Aberdeen, over the River Don, people walked with us all the way. There was a huge crowd, um, many speeches about Brexit, about um, austerity, about independence. And uh, we actually had a, a dinner, a lunch laid on for us, and several of the councillors came out. So it was a very, very positive reception. So, okay. Uh, what has been the best part and the worst part from your <laughs> point of view tell me okay i'll begin with the worst part and um, the blisters on our feet <laughs> i saw the pictures <laughs> how are feet your are feet very swollen and sore in the morning <laughs> except for jim jim right. has not had one blister really one. Uh. and we are calling him the duracell bunny rabbit because he just goes on and on and on <laughs> um the best no, really, and he's 65. We are all in our 40s, and he just is way ahead. But the, the best part for me has been meeting the people of Scotland. My, I know my people are very, very good, are very caring, are very international, are very welcoming, compassionate, right. opening their houses. We felt had offers of lifts, of food, even donation money, which we did not wish to accept at the beginning. Right. But yesterday evening, we were put up by tonight. We are in your friend's house. I have to say hello to you, Pilar, from Rick and Dave. All right. <laughs> Rick and Dave are eating and they said, say hello to Pilar. Okay. You know, they have made a lovely dinner. They have put up beds. Yesterday, we had no accommodation right. in Perth. And I, I have been taking time out to also do logistics. So I have done about 235, 240 miles. The mm. core walkers are Carl, Ren, Dean and Jim. Right. Because we had a, yeah, we had a problem with uh, only one vehicle, nowhere yeah. to stay. So somebody, Nick and I came out to do a little bit and Dave came out. But I will finish the walk after. If I do 400 miles, I will continue to Orkney, Shetland, and then Mundell's office in Dumfries with the shield and the bell and bring the whole of Scotland together. Wow. So we will walk a little bit more. But the best part is the just the generosity of the people, the kindness of the people, the stories of the people, the, the deep hurt, the things that have happened, like last night, we were in a farmer's house, Alison Bryce, and a lovely lady, 128 years, has farmed in Perth. And she um, she basically opened her house, told her us her story about the land being cleared. Dave is a city boy, he does not know that. So it was beautiful. So the, lo the, the logistic support was the, the best part of everything because people were so generous. Yes. Definitely, okay. without, without a doubt. Excellent. Yeah. So tell me about, uh, because I'm, I'm following your, 
your tweets, etc. Yes. And I, I, you're speaking about... I see that and I followed you. Yeah, uh, you're speaking about the blockchain democracy? Yes. Yes, could you, could you explain to me what, I, what I is that? I can start? explain to you very briefly, but the best to speak to in detail would be Nick Russell of right. Yes Day Scotland, right. an interview with him. We basically have succeeded today in having the, the blockchain democracy, Scottish government blockchain democracy, will go through as a bill in Parliament. So mm -hmm. the 500 miles walk is being discussed in Parliament. Blockchain, actually, Catalonia, Galicia could use blockchain. Right. Blockchain is the way of voting of the future, the way of taking an opinion poll. Basically, if you have any identity card, it can be the saltire card or a pensioner's card, you can link the card to an individual choice or an option or a vote, mm -hmm. and it cannot be tampered with. So. Right. You, you don't have a postal vote, you don't have a proxy vote. You don't even need to move from the chair I'm sitting in, which means for physically challenged people or elderly, elderly can vote with ease, not difficulty. Really, to be voting with pencil and paper in 2018, in the 21st yeah. century, is a bit outdated. Yeah, in indeed. Brexit, the, the cost of the pencils in Brexit alone, only the pencils, was £35,000. It's quite expensive. <laughs> so you can run a blockchain vote very simply, very cleanly, very, very cheaply, and you can take this as a locked, absolutely solid, locked, untampered with um, vote or opinion of your people of a country and go before the UN or the EU and mm -hmm. say, 2.5 million people or 3 million people want independence yeah. without even passing to a referendum. So yeah. if Scotland do this and introduce it, we will be one of the first countries in the world to introduce blockchain voting. We think it will be hybrid at the beginning. Some mm -hmm. of the people will vote on paper, some will vote in the new way. Then later it will move to this. But just hold on a minute because you were telling me off the record that uh -huh. you are going to wear your Catalan t-shirt on the 1st of October. Yes, I have my Catalan <laughs> t-shirt and Dave said yeah, I would not see you, but relax Dave. I will wear it on the 1st of October, okay? All day on the 1st of October I wear the Catalan ribbon, the Catalan t-shirt. Because Pilar, I was an observer in the Catalan referendum. Right. I was a European observer for 13 days. Right. I came down on the 30th and stayed till the 13th. And, whoa, well, very, very, yeah. very, 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 tough. very shocking. Very tough, very yes. Very frightened. Um, and I have a lot of solidarity with the people who are marginalized across the, the Republic of yeah, Catalonia. I, have I lived to, there for three years. I have to say uh, that I'm very impressed with the Scottish solidarity with Catalonia. I'm, I'm uh, the during the All Under One Banner demo in Glasgow. I was so impressed because uh, I know uh, there's a huge, huge movement of solidarity, and people yeah. were very angry. With the official behavior of the Scot the Spanish government, so thank yeah. you very much. We have my my colleagues in Catalonia because I have <laughs> a lot of friends in Catalonia. You, you have stood with us in our dark hours. We stand with you. <laughs> it is stand fast, hold fast. It will be coming again, so we all need to stand together. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, Laura. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. And I, Pilar, I love your work. I love what you do. Thank All you. that I've seen and read. Thank you, you very much. much. You're very, very, I'll, you're very activist and passionate. I'll see so you. I will see you on in Edinburgh. No, no, no. You, in Linlithgow. No. In Linlithgow. I'll see you in Linlithgow. Oh, then let's go. Okay. Yes, oh, sorry, my Even pronunciation. <laughs> then we will walk together in Lilithgow, okay? 
and you join on our 500 mile walk. We Excellent. hope to walk into Edinburgh with 100,000 people and have 100,000 waiting. Not okay. as many as Barcelona, but not bad. And that's all for now. I'll see you in Scotland.